Hello all, welcome back to Quest Zero. Continuing our discussions on the projection of planes, today we will look into a rectangular lamina and the equation states as follows. A rectangular lamina of sides 20 mm by 30 mm rests on HP on one of its longest edges. The lamina is tilted about the edge on which it rests till its plane surface is inclined to HP at 45 degrees. The edge on which it rests is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Draw the projections of the lamina. So, this is a problem which is very similar to the previous square problem that we have solved. So, the very first thing is let us write the xy line using a HP pencil, normal pressure, name them, this is x, y, the vertical plane on top of xy line, horizontal plane below the xy line since we are dealing with the first angle of projection okay next the problem states that the rectangular lamina of 20 mm by 30 mm so let us assume that this is a rectangular lamina so 20 mm by 30 mm it is not 20 mm by 30 mm it is slightly larger but still let us consider this to be the rectangle and it is resting on HP on one of its longer edges. So, now if I place the rectangle like this, when considering the resting edge, it will be the shorter edge. But the question states that one of the longer edges rests on HP. So, while drawing the first position diagram of the rectangle, since it is resting on HP, we will make the entire plane to rest on HP first and we will draw it in such a way that the longer edges, they are perpendicular to the XY line, thereby signifying that the edge on the right side is the considered resting edge. Okay, And when you view it in the front view, it will again be seen as a straight line okay like this yeah a shorter edge straight line okay so the very first thing that we are going to do is with your 2b pencil the dimension is 30 mm by 20 mm draw a line uh, i would say suggest one 1.5 centimeters or 15 mm from the xy line draw a 30 millimeter line because it is a longer edge okay next we will complete the rectangle where the shorter edge is of 20 millimeters So, this is the rectangle with the longer edge of 30 mm resting on or it will be considered to be resting on HP. Now, the entire plane is resting on HP. So, I will mark the dimensions. This is 20 mm with a 2 H pencil or a HP pencil very lightly. Show the dimensions.
3 is to 1 ratio arrow marks filled arrow marks this is slightly curved let this be straight lines straight arrow marks that are filled dimension with a 2b pencil this being 30 this being 20 naming anti clockwise a b c and this is d now draw the projection lines to obtain the front view so how does the front view look it will be a straight line this straight line okay so the intersection of the projection lines from c as well as b draw it with a 2h pencil or your hp pencil very lightly and the xy line will be darkened the segment of the xy line between the two projection lines will be darkened naming so when you see it in the front view the above point will be seen but this corner which lies exactly behind the top corner will not be visible so while naming b will be visible b dash in brackets a dash similarly on the other side this corner will be visible which is nothing but c and this corner at the bottom will not be c and it will be d dash so c dash in brackets d dash okay so this completes the first position view now coming to the second position we need to look for the relation with respect to the resting plane which is hp so the lamina is tilted about the edge on which it rests till its plane surface is inclined to hp at 45 degrees so we need to this is resting and inclination should be given in such a way that in the front view this inclination that takes place like this inclination right here the inclination that takes place below which is visible in the front view it should be 40 5 degrees so what happens is this straight line projection of the planar surface in the front view of first position will be inclined at 45 degrees to hp so select a random point on the xy line with your 2h pencil mark 45 degrees and connect the reference point on the xy line with 45 degree line with a 2 h pencil again very lightly okay now using your compass the distance between b dash a dash to c dash d dash in the first position front view measure and from the reference point marked on the xy line cut an arc 
Okay, your reference point will be B dash brackets A dash since it is the resting edge and the intersection of your arc with the 45 degree line will mark the the other end which is C dash D dash. Now, take the projection lines from the second position front view to the first position top view projections, intersect them to obtain their respective points in the second position top view. Okay. From D and A, one line. From B and C, one more line. Projection lines. From B dash, A dash. From C dash, D dash. Now connect this rectangle with a 2B pencil. It's a good practice if you can name them before. So this is A, B, C, D. Connect A, B, C and D. So this completes the second view. If you observe, when I when the rectangle is tilted, its shorter edge which is being lifted or which is making an inclination to XP, HP will reduce in its projected length. Hence, a shortened shorter edge rectangle is being projected in the top view of second position. Coming to the third position, the edge on which it rests is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Now, this is the resting edge, the one on the right side. It is the resting edge. Now, it has been tilted by 45 degrees to HP. Now, this edge will rotate it anti-clockwise will make 30 degrees to VP. So, this 30 degrees to VP. That is what we need to draw. So, for that, again, we will choose a random point on the XY line, sufficiently away from second position. Mark 30 degrees. VP connect them with a 2H pencil. Okay, and now measure AB, which is your resting edge with a compass, which has to be 30 mm. Choosing a point on the 30 degree line, cut an arc. So, the arc and the angle line intersection will give you one point. The compass needle will give you other point. So, let me say this is A. Compass needle is A. This is B. So, marking the angle. So, this angle is 45 degrees. And this is 30 degrees. Okay. 
फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री थर्टी डिग्री नाउ आई क्रिएट द पॉइंट डी एंड सी ऑफ सेकेंड पोजिशन वी आर रोटेटिंग द प्रोजेक्टेड फिगर फ्रॉम द सेकेंड पोजिशन टॉप व्यू एज द third position top view by tilting it by 30 degrees we are not going to change any dimensions in the second position top view so from a let me measure d with the compass from a let me cut an arc from b let me take the measurement till d and from b let me cut the arc the intersection of two arcs will give me the point d next from b measure the distance c from b cut an arc from a measure the distance till c using your compass and cut an arc from a intersecting the Arc from B to obtain point C. Naming should be in your two B pencil. Now join A B C D. A to B, B to C, A to D, and. D to C. Okay, this completes the top view of the third position. Now, taking the projections, we can complete the front view. So, draw the projection line from D till D. So it it comes somewhere here. I I will not extend it unnecessarily with your two edge pencil. Oh, fine. So from C as well. So from C the line will be somewhere right here. Projection line. So the points that are obtained are D dash, C dash. From A and B till X Y line. You can draw the projection lines. Okay. So this point that connects right here is A dash. I'll use a two B pencil. A dash. This will be B dash. Join A dash, D dash, C dash, and B dash. So this completes the all three positional views of the rectangle. the projected front view and the top view okay thank you thank you for watching in the next session we'll again take up one more rectangular plate with a different condition and until then please do like the video comment if you have any doubts or if you like the video as well and also please do subscribe and share with your friends thank you